hi guys this is video studios and in today's video we will look at how to use trim parts basically it's the use of pen tool to create parts it's a very key feature in after effects which can elevate your motion graphics trust me every bit of work i do in after effects being logo animation or infographics involve trim parts so without wasting much time let's get into business so guys we are in after effects so as i said trim parts are created using the pen tool or shapes i'll pick the pen tool like this and i'll make sure that the fill is not selected i'll click on the fill like this and i'll check on none the stroke you can give it any color that you want i'll go in for something like yeah like blue like this this is okay i can give it the width any number that i want but let's say 20 is okay so guys i'll draw a shape over here and to animate it or to add trim parts, I'll click over here, the arrow over here. Then I'll come to add. Then I'll check on what trim parts. So this is trim parts. So I'll click the arrow over here. So at frame zero, I'll just keep frame on the end. And I'll come to like two seconds. Then I'll reduce it to 100. So guys, this is basically trim parts. We can select the, the two keyframe like this and press F9. Select like this and come to the speed graph then you add. You can also animate it in other way. I'll draw, let me off this layer. I'll draw a different, a different line. So there's a different shape. So I'll click over here the same way. I'll come to add, then I'll add trim parts. I'll click on the arrow over here. So at the at the end, I'll check on the end and the start. And I'll make sure that the end is zero. The start to is zero. Then I'll come to like two seconds. Then I'll give it 100, 100. When you press play, you're not going to see anything over here. So I'll select the top keyframe like this then i'll make it like this you get it so guys this is basically trim parts this is basically trim parts this is one of the key features that really helps in after effects trust me so guys let's see how we can use trim part to animate our logo i'll create a new composition 1920 by 1080 i'll drop my logo over here guys this is mtn's logo to animate this logo i can use trim parts and there's how i'm going to go about it so i'll take the pen tool like this then i'll start to trace how the logo is so i'll start from the end i'll make sure that the logo the the png lo the main logo which is this one is not selected so i'll click on outside area so clicking on outside area will be selected i'll make sure that the fill is off only the stroke is on so i'll draw like this so i think this is cool i'll click on the outside area and create another shape for the T. So for, for the T, we have this bar over here and then we have the bar coming down over here. So I can select that same shape because it's the same letter. You get it? And I'll go for the N. For that one, I'll select outside. I'll make sure that anything over here is not selected. You get it. So I'm done with this. I'm done with the empty. It's left with this shape. So for that one, I won't use the pen tool. I'll use the ellipse tool. I'll select the ellipse tool like this. Then try and draw based on how the shape is so i think this is okay so 
to position it the way it is. So guys, one thing about trim part is that when you want to use your trim part to animate a logo, you have to make sure that the lines that you are creating will, will be bigger than the main logo. For the M, I'll make sure that I'll increase the thickness of the shape so that it will cover the yellow. You get it? So I click over here, come to content and I'll select the shape. If I select the shape like this, I'll bring this one down. And also those things over here, if you want to cut it off, if maybe it's worrying your shape or something and you want to cut it off, you need to come down to stroke. Then you will see line cap and line join. So come to the line join then do it round join. You are going to get something like this. I'll do the same thing for the T. So there's the T. I'll increase the size from. So you have to make sure that it is bigger. You get it. I'll do the same thing for the N. So the end like this, I'll increase the stroke. Then I'll enter. I'll click on the arrow over here. I'll come to content. I'll come to shape. Then I'll check on path. I'll come to stroke. Then I'll change it towards round join. Then I'll make sure that the thickness is bigger. Let me come to part again, then I'll drop this one. So guys, I think we are done with the hot, the MTN. So it's leveled around shape over here. I'll do the same thing. I think this is cool. So guys, this is cool. Right now we cannot see the yellow anymore. So what you are going to do is that we are going to add trim parts. So I'll select the M like this and I'll click the arrow over here. I'll make sure only content is seen. Then I'll come to trim parts. I'll come to add and I'll come to trim parts. I'll select the trim parts like this. I'll click on end. I'll make sure that the end is zero. Then around like two seconds, I'll increase it. So this what you have. I'll select the two keyframe like this and I press F9. Can select the two like this and come to the speed graph. So guys, I think this is cool. So in order to make your work faster, in order to make your work faster, you need to select the trim part like this. Then press Ctrl C. Select the trim part like this and press Ctrl C. And come to the other shape, which is the T. So the T, we have two shapes over here. We have the top bar and the down bar. So I'll select the two like this. Then press Ctrl V. I'll come to the end to the same. I'll click on the arrow over here. Then I'll come to this shape, shape one. I'll come to this shape. Then press Ctrl V. Then you have the outer line over here. I'll select the ellipse, ellipse parts. Then Ctrl V. So guys, this is what you have. So guys, at this point, we are 90% done for this logo. So I'll select the shapes layer over here. I'll select all of them. And I'll press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose. And I'll move all attributes and I'll press OK. So when you play, you still have this. So in order to review your logo, I'll select my MTN logo like this. 
and I'll toggle switch over here or press F4. And I'll come to where the NAND is. Then I'll come to our formats. So this is what you have. So guys, this is the magic. This is the magic of trim parts. So guys, this is the magic of trim parts. You can even make it 3D. You can even make the whole thing 3D. And it's going to give you some nice appeal. So guys, if this tutorial is helpful, click on the subscribe button, share it. See you next time.